Welcome to Top Travel's YouTube channel. Today we're bringing you a list of the top 10 things to do in South Africa. South Africa, officially the Republic of South Africa, with over 59 million people, is the world's 24th most populous nation and covers an area of 1,221,037 square kilometers, or about 470 square miles. South Africa has three capital cities, Executive Pretoria, Judicial Bloemfontein, and Legislative Cape Town. On this video, we're discussing the top 10 things to do in South Africa. Let's go! 10. Kango Caves The Kango Caves is the oldest tourist attraction in South Africa and one of the best cave systems for tourists. The standard tour is an easy and beautiful walk through massive chambers, but if you're up for the challenge, take the adventure tour. The adventure tour takes you through narrow passageways with openings as small as 26 centimeters. It's not for the faint of heart, but you get great bragging rights after the fact. 9. Dive with great white sharks. Another thing to do in South Africa is to go cage diving with great white sharks. Anyone can cage dive. You don't need to be a certified diver. Heck, you barely even need to know how to swim. You're in a cage attached to the side of a boat. It's the easiest diving, but it's also far the most exciting. Imagine having a great white shark bump the cage you're standing in. Watch it breach over and over again as it jumps after the fish head used as bait to attract the shark. Sharks are an endangered species, and the more people understand sharks and learn to love them rather than fear them, the better off the entire ecosystem will be. 8. Cape Town Cape Town is one of the most amazing cities where you find yourself saying, I could live here. It's beautiful, filled with culture and modern living has everything from markets to boutiques, and it has adventure. There are so many things to do in Cape Town. You could spend a week just exploring the city. From whale watching to enjoying the endless beaches, it's a sea lover's paradise. 7. Kariga Game Reserve The Kariga Game Reserve is a luxury reserve with four different lodges. Tourists spend mornings and evenings watching wildlife like lions, rhinos, hippos, giraffes, and elephants. The days are spent in the lovely lodge, reading books, sipping wine. All spirits, food, and drink are included in the safari package, and relaxing on the dock. 6. Oyster Box Hotel While staying in Durban, the historical Oyster Box Hotel is a spectacular accommodation. Located right on the Indian Ocean in the heart of the bustling town of Umlanga. You are close enough to all the attractions, but quiet enough to enjoy a proper relaxing vacation. With swimming pools, spas, gymnasium, restaurants, and cafes, it's a resort to definitely spend time in. 5. Canopy Tour A zipline canopy tour in the company of soaring eagles surrounded by breathtaking Cape, Feinbos, Panoramas, and Mountainscapes, is only an hour's drive from Cape Town by car and could well be exactly what you're looking for. Thrilled zipliners who have completed the course have described it as super safe. One commented that the quality of the structure and equipment was reassuringly high and had made her fear of heights irrelevant. For a beginner's zipline adventure, Try Tsitsikama, further to the south on the Garden Road. For the thrill-seekers, stay in Durban and check out Karkloof Canopy Tours. This is hands down the best canopy tour for tourists. 4. Microlight Flight Near Durban Durban is only 3 hours from St. Lucia, and in this thriving city, you can swing from the only stadium swing in the world at Moses Mabidha Stadium. If that's a little too much for you, Try a microlight flight over the spectacular coastline. Feel the wind whip your face as you watch dolphins and sea turtles swim below. If you time it right, you may be there for the whale migration season. You can book your tour with the Balido Microlight School. 3. South Africa Baboons At Cape Point, 
the southwesternmost tip of Africa, animals appear in the strangest places. On your way to Table Mountain, just north of the promontory, you'll wind up twisting forest roads that house several families of baboons. They will occasionally loaf about in the shoulders of the road, or even right in the middle, where they'll groom each other without a single care about passing cars. Take all the pictures you like, particularly of the adorable babies, but don't open a door or crack your windows. 2. Cape of Good Hope A common misconception is that the Cape of Good Hope is the southern tip of Africa. This misconception is based on the misbelief that the Cape was the dividing point between the Atlantic and Indian Oceans. The road out from Cape Town is one of the best drives in the world, so you should definitely make sure to visit the famous Cape of Good Hope. If you feel like splurging, Make sure to have a meal at the Twelve Apostles. Better yet, stay there. The Twelve Apostles is repeatedly voted as one of Cape Town's best hotels. It overlooks the sea, and each month, they have a delicious wine pairing. 1. Kayak with Crocodiles Have you ever had an experience that you were so excited about before it began, but then, once you found yourself in the middle of the experience, you started to wonder if it was such a good idea after all. If you're feeling adventurous, skip the pontoon boat and kayak in the river instead. There's nothing but fiberglass separating you from the crocodiles below. The water in the estuary is an average of 1 meter deep, and with 1,200 crocs and 900 hippos, you can be sure they're lurking below, even if you don't spot them right away. If you enjoyed the video, hit the like button, share, and let me know in the comment section below what you would like to see next. For more travel videos, please subscribe to our Top Travels YouTube channel.